Hello, Facebook fans and YouTube fans of DX Engineering. It's Tuesday afternoon here in the Eastern Time Zone of the USA. It's time for Tuesdays with Tim and Jeff. I'm Tim K3LR, and along with me is Jeff KB8ZWT. How are you doing, Jeff? I'm good. Doing good today, Tim. How about yourself? Doing okay. Good. Boy, uh, how about this weather? Man. Boy, beautiful. We spent the uh, day in Holmes County yesterday down in Amish country. Well, beautiful day down there. Beautiful. You know, I'd be thinking about antennas. You know, I, yeah. I, I think about antennas all the time. And, of course, um, when you're thinking about antennas, you got to think about coax. Yeah. Really, really important. Um, this is RG8 or RG213, I'm sorry. And you can see the uh, high-quality shield. It, it's really important that this shield be dense, Jeff. Um, yeah. Because if it's not, you'll get sig signal leakage. So right. it's so important uh, to have that uh, that dense shield and a really good center conductor. Uh, that's so important. Uh, so I, I can't emphasize that enough. Um, and and it's good. You have to have a good covering too. A very good covering is important. Uh, the covering. Uh, this is direct berry, so right. you you know you can put it right into the ground. And uh, it is, uh, it's really good for that. And then, you know, you got to have good connectors too. Very important to have good connectors. And, uh, you know, I was thinking about tape too, um, Jeff. Uh, the tape that you use for sealing up things, you know, yes. here's the Scotch 33. Yeah. Scotch 33 tape. Of course, that's the uh, Scotch 33. And then we have the Scotch 88. And, and uh, this is a little bit better tape than the 33, Jeff. Do you know what makes it better? No, what makes it better? Um, it's actually thicker. It's oh, actually okay. thicker. And, uh, you know, it's real important to keep your tape in these containers, too, because absolutely it will dry out. You know, yep. it's going to dry out. So um, it's real important that you – all of these things matter at, at your station. The, the most important thing – is the antenna system whether you're you've got a vertical whether you've got a, a dipole um whether you have um you know a, a beam it's very important uh that you have um that, that you take care of those things and so um I, i've been thinking a lot about this because i've been outside uh, looking at uh, the antennas here and uh, have you done your inspections jeff Yes, I did. I was out just over the weekend a little bit looking at some stuff and check my uh, connectors where they're waterproof and they're still nice and tight, tightly round. Uh, with the water situation I have, I have to keep an eye on that. Well, that, that is important. And uh, so, you know, I'm going to uh, share my screen here and uh, we're going to go through a, a few slides uh, that we prepared for today. And uh, let's go into that share and here and now we're going to go to this and uh, let me know when you see uh, the screen Jeff yeah it's up you got it okay good so this is um, this is uh, the one inch wide this is the one inch wide uh, tin copper braid and uh, the, the one inch wide tin copper braid is only good for indoor use. What happens when you take this outside, Jeff? Boy, it uh, just fills up with water. And then it, it it's going to break. It, yep. Yeah, it, it wicks water just like a sponge. And so you don't want to use this stuff outside. Um, and here's uh, the uh, high quality uh, RG400. You've heard me talk about this before. Yep. Um, but boy, these are great cables, um, capable of uh, full le legal limit power on the HF bands and uh, very flexible. But that double shield gives you high isolation, which is really good from a noise perspective. And um, here's a bad connector, Jeff. You know, it got yeah. water in it. Yes, it did. And then uh, got water, and then there was uh, an amplifier involved. <laughs> and oh, that's. Geez. <laughs> That's what happens. And uh, so uh, the connector on the right, which is a, a PL259, 
is uh, nice and clean and you can see the dielectric there so you know what's going on um, the connector on the left which is a double female the so238 you can see it's been beaten up and it was part of this uh, this water event uh, wow. taking a look at the pl259 there you see those two alignment pins that Absolutely. are on the yep. on the shell there that's very important that they get seated properly when when you make the connectors together if you don't seat those alignment pins you will have trouble and uh, we know that uh, even good coax yet in time it will go bad yeah it does not last forever um, and uh, you really have to uh, check it and make sure that you don't have anything that has happened to your coax because that that will cause a slow deterioration and uh, you ever you ever seen shield like that, Jeff? No, I have not. <laughs> I've wow. I've seen guys try to solder to that oh, and keep wow. using it, and uh, you you just can't do that um, when the shield is uh, is anything but shiny copper. You got to replace it. It's just really really important. Um, here here's another tarnished uh, silver uh, connector, and you need to. Uh, you really do need, I mean, silver oxide is conductive, but uh, I suggest uh, replacing something that looks like this. And boy, here here is the number one thing that I see when I visit uh, stations is uh, guys refuse to solder the shields. Mm -hmm. these, these shields are just stuffed in. And uh, when I asked about it, they said, well, we're hoping for the best. Well, wow. Hope is not a strategy, Jeff. And, no. Uh, no, it's it's not good. And uh, so you need to solder your shields. And uh, having silver plated connectors is a real benefit when you're soldering your shields because you can it uh, it takes the solder so much easier. This is one method. This is what I uh, use when I do a solder connector here at K3LR. Is I actually fold the shield over the back of the connector. Oh and, yeah, and that way I know I'm not melting the dielectric, so that that is one strategy. Um, and you know, you, uh, we do have high quality DX engineering and Amphenol connectors. They do cost more than the Hamfest specials, but you won't get in trouble by using them. You will get into trouble with the Hamfest specials. So it's vitally important to use good connectors. You're investing hundreds and thousands of dollars in your station this is one place you do not want a short change and keep it tight right jeff that's right absolutely channel locks works all the time channel locks are really great for uh, keeping things uh, tight and uh, you got to make sure that your connectors are beyond finger tight take another quarter turn with the channel locks and uh, and tighten up so that's that's real important. Um, I, I can't emphasize enough that these these things with with coax are just vital. It, it's absolutely vital to your station. And uh, so let's uh, let's see what uh, is going on in the chat room here, Jeff. Um, we've got uh, Alpha Golf Seven X Ray Hotel. He says he's uh, watching while he's working. <laughs> so he says, "Don't don't tell the boss." Uh, and Michael's on whiskey three. Mike Lima Juliet and seven X Ray two Radio Fox is on whiskey Papa three Tango Quebec and our friend uh, Reinhard Delta Hotel three November Alpha Bravo from RF Kit and uh, W six Juliet India Mike. He says, "I love your four hundred max coax. You sell a lot of that, Jeff. Oh, absolutely. I mean, we sure do." Yeah, you saw a lot of that. Um, let's see. We've got um, two Echo Zero Radio Echo Echo. Andy, um, it's almost coming up on, uh, well, it's past tea time. It's uh, coming up on the evening over there. And uh, let's see. We've got um, Whiskey 8 Victor India Papa is on with us in Zulu 30 Alpha in Kilo Bravo 7 Radio Victor. And... Uh, Kilo Juliet 7 Lima Uniform Echo says, thanks for all the great tips and information. I learn a lot from you. And uh, 
well, thanks for watching, Richard, and thanks for your nice comments. And uh, here's our friend Greg from Arizona, November Charlie 7 Bravo, says, one of my last orders included some DX engineering made Yesu rotor cable connector assemblies. Have you sold any of those, uh, Jeff, lately? Yes, we have quite a few of them. Absolutely. Good, good. Uh, the DXE 400 Max coax with end connectors. Great DX engineering quality, and it saved me a lot of time. And let's see, we have Jeff, greetings in 73 from Jeff, WDHJM, tower project plan for the summer, and would like to pick your brain, Mr. Duffy. Thanks. DXE is the best. Jeff, just send me uh, an email. You can send it to K3LR at DXEngineering.com, and we'll get right back to you. And uh, let's see, uh, we have uh, November Lima 7 Delta, having fun with your crimping tool and coax connectors. That is the that is a great way to put on uh, coax connectors, and we've got all the tools for that. And Greg says, uh, can the copper tin braid be used on uh, automotive? I've used it to ground the door frame for HF. It can be, but you got to keep it out of the weather. You know, if it's exposed to water, uh, it'll be dead in no time. And, and Tim, with that, we use that on our cruisers and like in the trunk and so on and so forth. We found absolute um, moisture caused a problem with those. Just any yeah. type of moisture. Any type. Yep, you're right. Any news on the ICOM ID52? When might you be able to sell me one? Please take my money. Well, Aaron, we're uh, <laughs> we are waiting to, and uh, you know, trying to predict when radios are going to come in, Jeff, is uh, boy, that's it's almost impossible because yeah. uh, you know when that chip factory burned down in Japan, and now we've got you know shipping delays and the shipping companies have employees that are out sick with COVID. And it's just, uh, you know, we really hate to put dates on on things because yeah. everything is just so unpredictable. But uh, believe me, Aaron, we're, we're uh, ready. And as soon as we have them, we'll, uh, we'll get you to place your order. Let's see. Jeff says, I have now upgraded all of my shack to coax cables with the high isolation cable. Great flexibility and an overall great cable product. Kilo Echo 9 Bravo Victor. Well, Jeff, I'm glad, um, you know, that uh, I've been talking about this for several years, and uh, boy, they are great cables. And from Belfast, Northern Ireland, it's Mike India Zero Tango Juliet Mike. And uh, we also have, uh, let's see here, who else do we have on with us? Um, we've got Kilo Papa 4 Quebec, Victor Quebec, and um, let's see, Echo Lima 4 Bravo, or Echo Lima 2 Bravo Golf. I owned a few rolls of those tapes and they got caked in the African heat and they were deemed useless. Well, it gets pretty hot over there. Uh, Kilo Golf 7 India Delta November and uh, Eric November Mike 5 Mike is on. It says K3LR has an excellent method for connecting the shield of the coax to the PL259. And uh, thanks for your nice comments, Eric. And uh, we've got Kilo Echo 8 Golf Mike Fox is on. And the tall guy is on from Pittsburgh, K3STL and KN4KOP. And Whiskey 6 Alpha Alpha Echo says, I'm learning a lot today. And George, uh, Whiskey Zero Whiskey X-Ray Zulu in Iowa. And uh, thanks very much for your comments. And from the Philippines, Delta Uniform 1 Victor Golf X-Ray. And November 9, Queen Charlie Lima. And uh, Dino, KL0S and Toby, KL0SS, they're having... Um, hamburger and fries and watching the show. Um, let's see, Amphenol is great, but spend a lot of money here in South America. I like self-flex cables too. Uh, let's see, we've got uh, Guy, K5 Tango Golf Sierra. That's our man Guy is on uh, with us. He's on yeah. his lunch. And uh, of course, you call in, you might get Guy. That's right. And, um, let's see, putting up new antenna and replacing all coax with DXE 400 Max. And DXE crimp connectors. Uh, sounds great, Ron. WB3LHD. And we've got KE0 Alpha Victor Tango. And uh, Kurt says the two port connection bracket for the DX engineering cells, the towers has ports too close together, especially if you want to use the channel locks. Okay, we'll, we'll take that under advisement. And uh, uh, Q Sky, uh, Jason. Um, 
I, I don't know anything about the Messi and Poloni. That's all different connectors. It's all different everything, and uh, we do not sell it. Um, Rob, what crimp tool for coax connectors? Uh, yeah, Rob, uh, we have uh, several different uh, things that you need for putting your own coax connectors on. If you want to drop us an email, uh, you can just send an email to dxengineering at dxengineering.com, and we'll help you out. Um, Bill says the RG400 is back ordered for a month. Supply, yeah. Um, things are flying off the shelf, Jeff. Um, you know, I, I know you've had other customers calling in about stuff. Um, do you apply dielectric grease on the shield and inside the connector? No, 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 no. Um, I do not believe in that. I don't think that that does anything to do anything. The best thing you can do is use the the DX engineering vapor wrap that we have that is in our weatherization kits to keep the water out. If you keep the air out, it keeps all the water out. So there's no reason to use any of that uh, grease and, and stuff like that inside the connectors. Uh, Don from Michigan, Kilo Delta 8 Pop Alpha X-Ray. When does, when does the new catalog come out? That'll be uh, in your mailboxes in the middle of May. We'll have a new catalog out. And Joe says, um, let's see, Joe says, thousands of containers were lost at sea this past winter due to rough storms. I s hope your stuff is still afloat. I hope so, too. It's been tough. Yeah. Um, always great info from November Kilo 4 Oscar. And Dwight is on Kilo 4 Yankee Japan. And uh, Kilo X-Ray 4 Zulu Echo. And Zulu 33 Zulu Oscar Delta. And Evan says, any suggestions for small antennas for a college dorm room? Well, you know, some guys have had good success even with a mobile antenna out on the balcony, Jeff. Yep. What do you think? Absolutely. And Yeah, that and the uh, compact antenna for uh, HF has been pretty good on uh, balconies. Yeah, that, that's, that's a good, uh, a really good antenna. I, you know, when I lived in my dorm room, I just had a wire run all around. And then at night, mm -hmm. I'd let the wire go out the window. <laughs> yep, absolutely. But, of course, we had uh, a really good uh, campus uh, ham radio station, and that was my downfall. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and here's uh, Rob in the mobile, Mike Zero Kilo Papa Delta, and uh, November Charlie 8 India. And Aaron says... Uh, I'm really enjoying the ICOM IC7300 that I got from DX Engineering. Great service and help from Jeff. So Thank you got another fan there, Jeff. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, uh, Tim says uh, DXE UT kits dash crimp two from DX Engineering. That, that's good info there. That'll get you going. And uh, Tom, Golf 2 November Victor. Hi, Tim and Jeff. Are you going to take part in the CQ WPX? If so, good luck. Hope to work you um, from George to November Victor. And uh, we'll be on the air this weekend. I don't know how, how much or how long, but <laughs> we'll be on. And uh, Ryan said, I ordered my grounding setup from DXE a week or so ago. Needed to update my order. And you did so happily and quickly over the phone. Glad to have my shack finalized. Peace of mind with my antennas grounded through polyphasers and your ground rod kit. Thanks again, K0 Uniform Juliet X-Ray. And uh, Chris, November 6th, Whiskey Mike says lots of DXE coax and jumpers at Radio Oakley, November 6th, Radio Oscar. And thanks very much, uh, Chris. And uh, give our best to N6RO as well. And uh, Henny Youngman is in there, November 4HY. Nice to see you, Dr. McGuire. And uh, Mike uh, Peter Patterson, he says, worked in meteorology with NIST Washington World Standards. And the best low noise connection, copper TP ground crimps, best low noise. Okay, Kilo Zulu 4, Zulu Echo. So, uh, Jeff, uh, you gotta, you got to have an antenna project this summer. we got to dream something up. But then, gotta, then you got to get by your wife. i got to get more land. <laughs> well, keep shining up that butternut. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> Well, that's what we have uh, for this Tuesday. We'll be back on on Thursday with the Manufacturer Showcase and uh, look for all the information about what's going on here on social media at DX Engineering 
on our blog. That's onallbands.com. And uh, just click on the events calendar. And there's lots of great articles on the blog. Uh, we have some of the best blog writers you could ever ask for. And it's just great information. It's free to use. Go there, have some fun. And if you need help with your station, get a hold of us here at DX Engineering. And we'll help you have fun with the best hobby in the world. For now, 73 from DX Engineering.